All right, so let's take a look at how we can use our Raycast 2D inside of Godot. Now, looking at my setup here, I simply need to show you that I have a player with a camera with a uh, monster and a floor. Now, the monster doesn't do anything. Inside of the script, there's nothing. And inside of the player script, well, is the logic for the player to move. Now, to use our Raycast, we need to first add it to our scene. Now, here I'm going to be adding it to my uh, monster, and I'm going to point it to wherever I want. Now, to use it, we need to point it in the right direction. Now, there's many ways that we can actually change the target position. In fact, you can actually do that through code as well while the game is running. But we're going to do this at the game start. So here you can see if I hit play and I go all the way to the left and I touch it with the player, it turns red. Now, what else do I want to do, though? I can do other things with this. Now, you can see that there's no signals. That's something like, oh, it entered this uh, Raycast, right? Now, there are other functionalities that we can use with this, though. If we go to the document by selecting the Raycast, go to the doc on the top right, you can scroll down a little bit and find some of the functions that we can use. Collide with bodies, uh, collide with areas, etc. No, sorry, these are the properties, and then the methods are right below that. So get collider. Uh, a collider is probably one of the useful ones, and is colliding is also a useful one. So we can use is colliding. Let's go over here to our script here, and we can print out a physics process function and simply print uh, is colliding. We can uh, change this. What we'll do actually is we will load the raycast by dragging it in, hit control. And drop then we can call the raycast before we say is colliding because is colliding is part of the raycast uh, function now when we hit play you can see that it's printing false but if i start touching it it prints true now additionally if we go back to the raycast you remember that we have the get collider now, if we go to this it returns the first object that is in the ray intersect or null if no object is intersecting the ray so we should be able to uh, be able to just print raycast 2 dgetcollider I'm going to comment out this and hit play. And now you can see that it is just printing null, meaning that there is no object it's touching. But if I start touching it, it will print the player. So this is a good way to access a body for the player. And there you go. So there's a few functions that we've used. Now there's obviously many more that you can take a look inside of the documentation. Hopefully this helps and gives you a rough start on how to use the Raycast 2D inside of Godot.